a couple of weeks ago, uh, my tire blew up on my 2000 Honda Insight. And so I lost one of my uh, uh, Potenza RE29s. It happened at home. You know, I just gave up, got a little tired. You know, the uh, the DOT number, the last four digits, the first, first two are the week, the last two are the year. So the fourth week of the year 2012, they manufactured these tires. So apparently uh, 50 PSI is a bit much in an 11 year old tire. I guess the only uh, suitable course of action is to take a uh, 23 year old tire and put 60 PSI in it. All right, with my little spare on there, I'm kind of surprised that it says it still has uh, 42 PSI. I'm gonna go ahead and run it up, run it up to 60. Well, there it is. All right, let's see if this thing will hold. Oh, perfect, like it's made for it. I don't trust anyone with my fender skirts, so I'm ordered two tires, and uh, I'm gonna just take care of them myself. Make sure they don't get broken. Same with the hubcaps. I wound up ordering tires from Discount Tire, just because they got a pretty good distribution for tires. They're able to order these Bridgestone Potenzas, and they claim it'll be here later today which is incredible to me. So I'm only getting 58 miles per gallon on this tank and my lifetime average sucks. But uh, I don't know, I still haven't quite resolved all my running issues and this and that. I don't know, man. I need to put a new uh, oxygen sensor on and all kinds of shit. But one thing at a time. I, I, I give my car one little uh, new part per paycheck, really. I only get paid monthly, so it's a it's a slow process. But here we are. Well, I'm back home. Uh, I'm having to adjust all my tire pressures because uh, discount tire does not like you having uh, low rolling resistance and high fuel economy. Also, they were digging all in here through all my stuff. I think they were trying to put the, uh, the fender skirts back on but I told them not to. That's kind of disappointing. Let's just get this fender skirt back on properly. Uh, so we're gonna drop the little shells in these things, kind of where they, they sit like that. And we're gonna start pushing up evenly. We're gonna try to get everything latched and caught the first time let's see that's on that's on that's up don't see flexing all those points are mounted yeah, that's going pretty good so i set my tire pressure to 50. uh you know these tires max rated 45 a lot of people run them a lot higher but i've, I've i feel like 50 is pretty safe <laughs> just six psi over if we're not run the risk of catastrophic blowout and still trying to get a little bit better fuel economy. Uh, discount tire had set, you know, the rears at 35 and the fronts at 37, like the door says. I'm just, I'm not a fan of that pressure. That seems way too low. And I'm not seeing any odd uh, wear patterns on my tires from, from overinflated. Oh, perfect. So, Honestly, probably the people running 60 and 65, 70, they're probably okay. Very rare blowout chance, hopefully. Although they did say that, that this particular uh, discount tire that I went to has had three insights in this month, all with a blown out tire. So maybe we should back off the pressure. But, but from what you read online, people do insane stuff. They'll put 90 in there and just go for it without issue. So I'm, I'm kind of up in the air on that. So I have the, a receipt from, uh, I guess it's 15 months ago when I bought my two front tires. And then this one is yesterday. And you can look at the price of the tire, $89 each 15 months ago, $133 each uh, yesterday. And then also there's been 
uh, a, a rise in the uh, the cost of the road hazard went from 1450 to 2220 but anyways tires are getting expensive dude just just two tires was 382 that's a hundred dollars more I mean that's terrible I wound up leaving a nasty review <laughs> on on Google for this discount tire because they had kind of destroyed the back man they had torn up the carpet and and folded over this uh you know the cargo box and crammed it over they had dumped out all of the the tools in the bottom uh and i don't know what they were looking for i think they might have been looking for the the little fasteners to mount the the uh, fender skirts and i told them not to do that everything was nice and tidy and super orderly when when i left it there so i don't know i gave them a one star and i and i called them uh, retarded gorillas smash grabbing anything they like in the back of your car uh, but yeah other than that I'm happy to have new tires and not be worried about the constant threat of blowouts with my 11 year old old ones so I don't know sorry about uh, making a video of something as mundane as putting tires on a car but my computer died about a month ago and that's why I haven't posted a video in a month I just haven't you know, found it in the budget yet to buy a new one. And I just felt like I should post something because my, my, uh, my YouTube engagement and revenue is crashing with this uh, absence from YouTube. So yeah, uh, that's how you buy tires for Honda Insight. I, I don't know, whatever. We'll see what we post this video under title wise, but, uh, y'all be good and I'll catch you later. All right. Peace.